In tonight's Project Earth, we've got the dirt on dirt. Only 7.5% of the planet is covered in soil, but it's critically important to regulate the climate. Bay Area scientists hope to come up with a better understanding on how to keep our soil healthy. Here's Ann Makovic. So we're talking about our climate change and how to keep the soil, as you can see, healthy. They're going to take a look at it and kind of dive deeper in to this dirty problem. Take a look. About 200 miles north of San Francisco in the Sierra Nevada foothills, scientists are digging into a pretty hot issue. The soil is really a um, source of life. Dr. Jackie Pena is a civil and environmental engineer at UC Davis. She's also a scientist at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. We still need to go a little bit deeper. Pena and her team are carefully collecting layers of dirt at the Big Chico Creek Ecological Reserve. More than 98% of the reserve was damaged by last year's Park Fire, the fourth largest wildfire in California's history. Those massive flames scorched thousands of acres of soil. A lot of fires are happening uh, following drought, uh, and so the recovery is going to be happening under drier conditions. We're interested in understanding how the soil uh, microorganisms and plants are going to regenerate. As the planet warms, the rising temperatures will do more than just increase the risk for extreme wildfires. The changing climate may also fundamentally alter soil, and not just near the surface. So we're collecting data over more than the top meter of the soil. Near the Point Reyes National Seashore, the scientists are simulating a warmer planet. It really does take a lot of careful planning and time to get all the sensors in the ground. To start, they've installed aluminum pipes seven feet deep. Some contain heating devices to warm up the soil and whatever's in it. There is a universe below our feet of microorganisms, bacteria and fungi. Soils on Earth represent a huge reservoir of carbon. Jeremy Snyder is with the Berkeley Lab. With rising temperatures, the microbes in the soil become more active and can consume the buried carbon at a faster rate. That creates another problem. They are turning that carbon from a solid, kind of stored away, buried form into back into carbon dioxide that goes into the atmosphere. Different sensors and probes will measure the temperature of the soil, its moisture, and the carbon dioxide rising out of it. Here's our our solar panel. A solar panel helps to power the experiment. The temperature data is automatically recorded. Every 15 minutes. The team will also collect soil samples to analyze. We know so little about what happens in the soil below the ground. The hope to better prepare a warming world for the future. One of the many friends that we have out here. A future for all.